Hello everyone. I am Srinija Desi Raju, Solutions Architect here at AWS. Today, I'll be showing you how to launch an S3 bucket. Amazon Simple Storage Service S3 is an object storage service that offers industry leading scalability, data availability, security, and performance. In this demo, we are going to learn how to create and configure our first Amazon S3 bucket, how to upload objects, and finally, how to delete our example bucket when we are through it. To get started, open the AWS S3 Management Console and visit the S3 dashboard. Now go ahead and click Create Bucket. Let's call this one Getting Started with S3 Demo. S3 Bucket names must be globally unique. So a very short generic name like Demo might get rejected as it is already being in use. To make this name unique, I will add some numbers at the end. When selecting a region for our S3 bucket, we generally want to choose the region closest to where our clients who will be accessing it are located. Clients can include human users, servers like Amazon EC2 instances, or even other AWS managed services. We will use US East 1 for this demo. Next, there is a section for block public access. By default, Amazon S3 will block all public access to our newly created bucket and the objects we upload to it. We strongly recommend that customers leave the block all public access setting turned on. We recommend using S3 bucket policies or S3 access points to grant limited access to S3 buckets and the individual objects within. Finally, under the advanced settings, we have the object lock option, which prevents uploaded objects from ever being deleted. We can enable this if needed to comply with any regulatory requirements that we might have. To keep things simple for our demo, we are gonna leave this option disabled and click create bucket. Our bucket is successfully created. Let's click on the name and take a look inside. Amazon S3 is a powerful feature rich service with a wide variety of different settings you can configure for a number of use cases, including things like object versioning, encryption, and lifecycle policies. For now though, let's upload some files to our S3 bucket. We are going to upload an AWS logo. With the default settings, any user or role within this account 
will be able to access these files as long as their AWS identity and access management policy allows it. That is enough for this demo. Let's go ahead and click Upload. Our object is successfully uploaded in this S3 bucket. Let's click on the object and take a look inside. The object URL link that we see here at the bottom is the way to view the object if we have enabled public access. As we have not enabled public access, we are not able to see the object here. For now, we will use the option open to view our object. This is the AWS logo that we uploaded in this S3 bucket. Before concluding the demo, let's return to the main S3 bucket listing and delete the example bucket that we created. We are not able to delete this bucket because it contains objects. We have to empty this bucket first. Let's click on Empty Bucket Configuration. We have to type permanently delete in this text input field. Let's try to delete the bucket again. We have to write the name of the bucket. Click on Delete Bucket. We have successfully deleted the S3 bucket. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing.